From the heart of Zimbabwe, a nation grappling with energy poverty and economic hardship, emerged a figure who promised a revolutionary solution, Maxwell Chikumbutso. Not a seasoned engineer from a prestigious university, but a self-taught inventor with a bold vision. Have unlocked the secret to self-charging electric vehicles? Hello, it's your DIY assistant here. The fact is so pure, spotting him and the current president of Zimbabwe and shaking hands in warm smiles, a breathe of freedom. A feat that could reshape the world as we know it. His invention, if proven viable, could revolutionize the automotive industry and significantly reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. Chikumbutso's journey began with a simple yet ambitious goal, to create a future free from the shackles of fossil fuels and the limitations of traditional electric cars. He envisioned a world where clean, renewable energy was accessible to all. He toiled away in his workshop, driven by an unwavering belief in his abilities and the potential of his inventions to uplift his nation and revolutionize the world. His dedication and perseverance were evident in every prototype he created and every challenge he overcame. His story, a blend of ambition, innovation and controversy, captured the imagination of many, while others met his claims with skepticism. Critics questioned the feasibility of his technology and the practicality of his ideas. Could this unassuming inventor from a small African nation truly be on the cusp of a technological breakthrough that had eluded the best minds and well-funded laboratories around the world? The implications of his success would be far-reaching, potentially transforming industries and economies. The world watched with bated breath, curious and cautious, eager to witness whether Chikumbutso's vision would become a reality or fade into the annals of unfulfilled promises. The stakes were high, and the journey was fraught with challenges. His story was a powerful reminder that innovation can spring from the most unexpected places, challenging established norms and pushing the boundaries of possibility. It is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of a better future. At the heart of Chikumbutso's invention was a claim that seemed to defy conventional scientific understanding, the ability to generate energy from kinetic energy and electromagnetic resonance. This groundbreaking concept promised to revolutionize how we think about energy generation and consumption. He asserted that his electric vehicle, dubbed the Scythe FEV, could capture energy from its own motion and the surrounding environment, effectively charging itself on the go. This meant that the vehicle could theoretically drive indefinitely without needing to stop for a recharge. Imagine, he urged the world, a car that never needed to be plugged in, its battery perpetually replenished by harnessing the very forces it traversed. This vision painted a future where energy was abundant and effortlessly accessible. No more range anxiety, no more dependence on charging stations, no more contributing to the environmental burden of battery production and disposal. The implications for sustainability were profound. Chikumbutso's technology, if true, promised to rewrite the rules of energy consumption. The scientific community, however, met these claims with a mixture of curiosity and skepticism. Many experts were intrigued but cautious. The laws of thermodynamics, considered fundamental principles governing energy, seemed to contradict the possibility of a perpetual motion machine, which is essentially what Chikumbutso appeared to be proposing. The idea of a self-sustaining vehicle was both revolutionary and controversial. Experts argued that while energy harvesting from sources like motion and radio waves was possible, these methods typically yielded very small amounts of power, nowhere near enough to sustain a vehicle. The challenge was to scale up this technology to meet the demands of a fully operational electric car. Beyond the immediate benefits to individual drivers, Chikumbutso envisioned his technology transforming entire communities. He believed his self-charging system could be scaled up to power homes and businesses, liberating people from their dependence on traditional power grids. This was particularly significant for Zimbabwe, a nation plagued by frequent power outages and limited access to electricity. Chikumbutso's dream resonated deeply with those who had long endured the challenges of unreliable energy infrastructure. He offered the tantalizing possibility of a decentralized, democratized energy future, where every home could become its own power plant, drawing energy from the environment and fueling a brighter future for all. This vision of energy independence extended beyond Zimbabwe's borders. Developing nations, often struggling with limited resources and infrastructure, saw in Chikumbutso's invention a potential solution to their energy woes. He offered them not just a technological fix, but a path towards self-sufficiency and a brighter future. The automotive industry, too, found itself at a crossroads. Established automakers, heavily invested in internal combustion engine technology, faced the prospect of a radical disruption of their business model. Chikumbutso's self-charging EV, if genuine, could render their existing investments obsolete, forcing them to adapt or risk being left behind in a rapidly changing market. Imagine, Chikumbutso challenged a world free from the grip of oil cartels, where energy independence translated into political and economic power for nations that had long been at the mercy of energy giants. His vision struck a chord with those who saw in his invention a chance to break free from the shackles of a fossil fuel-dependent world. The potential implications of Chikumbutso's claims extended far beyond the borders of Zimbabwe, 
sending ripples of concern through boardrooms of some of the world's most powerful industries. The $7 trillion oil and gas sector, built on the extraction and combustion of fossil fuels, faced an existential threat from a technology that could render gasoline and diesel obsolete. Section 5. Whispers and Doubts As Chikumbuzo's profile grew, so too did the scrutiny surrounding his claims. Scientists and engineers around the world, bound by the laws of physics and years of established research, raised concerns about the feasibility of his self-charging technology. They pointed to the lack of peer-reviewed studies, independent verification, and the absence of a working prototype that could be rigorously tested. The scientific community, while open to groundbreaking discoveries, operates on a foundation of evidence and reproducibility. Chikumbuzo's refusal to fully disclose the technical details of his inventions, citing intellectual property concerns, further fueled skepticism. He countered that he had faced attempts to steal his technology in the past, and his reluctance to share his secrets stemmed from a desire to protect his inventions and ensure they benefited his people. Despite the lack of scientific validation, Chikumbuzo's supporters, many of whom had witnessed his demonstrations firsthand, remained steadfast in their belief. They argued that his inventions were not hoaxes, but genuine breakthroughs that threatened the status quo, leading to a concerted effort to discredit and silence him. What if the next big breakthrough in energy didn't come from a Silicon Valley lab, but from a workshop in Zimbabwe, Africa? Imagine a car that never needs charging, unlike Tesla or internal combustion engine cars powered by fuel. These new cars and a racing motorbike are being powered by something called microsonic energy. This is the reality of Zimbabwe-born inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a 44-year-old man and a high school dropout. The, 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 the vehicle it uses what we call the microsonic energy device. The microsonic energy device, which is the, the device that I personally invented in 2009, which harnesses radio frequencies converted it into energy. As you know, radio frequencies, they are measured in nano volts, meaning to say they are less than a volt, they are just like nothing. But we find a way of harnessing it through the, the, the creation of the 70% of the components in the microsonic energy, which I tell me it would have designed. So with this car, you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, is, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. The microsonic energy-powered vehicles and motorbike will officially be launched by the president of Zimbabwe on February 10th, 2025. This cars promise an unlimited driving range, top speeds of up to 220 kilometers per hour, and the ability to power your home just like a Tesla, all without ever having the need for even just a single charge. But his journey hasn't been easy. Years ago, Chikumbuzo was poisoned in the US, losing his business partner in the process. He even received threats on his life. Despite these challenges, he persevered, driven by a belief in his vision. We were poisoned at that time. Dr. Teddy didn't make it. He died in January 2017. I survived by the grace of God. Uh, so I was always in Zimbabwe and United States of America until SE heard about myself. Then he invited the he, president. He, the president, yes. Then he invited me to, 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 to come back and put my base in Zimbabwe. So right now I'm based in Zimbabwe. Best advantage, they good the driving range is unlimited. I charge this way, I eat with my kids. I'm gonna keep driving for the next 20 years. And the motor car is a true tower, it's the upper market, it's a samurai from 2015 we have been working hard testing it, homologations, CPCA certifications, ISO certifications, FCC standards, Chesita and Azo. Sagaya road with even when it comes to Zimbabwe, it went through the AD. Sagaya Motkara went off my barrage. You are the inventor. Yeah, I'm the one who invented the technology. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story is as incredible as his inventions. A self-taught genius, he began tinkering with gadgets in the late 90s building radio transmitters, digital navigators, self-powering televisions, and even a turbine engine from scrap metal. He says his inspiration comes from visions, ideas that come to him in the night. Is there any other vehicle in the world? Uh, with this technology, no, this is the first vehicle in the world. Where is it? Here in Zimbabwe. Yes, I want to be it's more than three million. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let them eat it, I <laughs> 
Come give me the <laughs> This was a presentation to the president of Zimbabwe, who has been the financial force behind this project, but the microsonic energy-powered vehicles will officially be launched on February 10, 2025. The highlight of the pre-unveiling at the presidency was obviously the car, which he made in collaboration with a Chinese automaker. According to Chikumbutso, he partnered with Chinese car maker Kaiyi to make the car, which is called the Kaiyi Safe. Chikumbutso says the car has an unlimited driving range. It does not need any charging. It just works, just like that, and it can hit a top speed of 220 km per hour, as well as power your house, just like a Tesla. So according to Chikumbutso, the deal is, Kaiyi provided the vehicle, and he basically installed the microsonic motor into the vehicle. If fully produced, the vehicles could cut Zimbabwe's fuel imports, and Chikumbutso suspects that the oil and vehicle manufacturers in the United States could have had a hand in his poisoning. Soon, Zimbabwe will launch to the world what her young minds can do for the country and humanity, said the president. Please support our effort to scout the internet and bring forth uplifting updates about the mother continent every now and then by donating a super thanks of any amount. Thank you. Section 6, The Unveiling and Its Aftermath The tension between Chikumbutso's claims and the skepticism they engendered reached a fever pitch in 2023 when he announced a public demonstration of his latest creation, the Scyth FEV, a sleek, futuristic-looking electric vehicle that he claimed could travel indefinitely without needing to be plugged in. This bold claim was met with both excitement and doubt, as many wondered if such a technological marvel was truly possible. The world watched with a mix of anticipation and doubt, eager to witness whether Chikumbutso could deliver on his audacious promises. The event was broadcasted live, drawing viewers from all corners of the globe, each person holding their breath in anticipation. The demonstration held in Harare, Zimbabwe, drew a large crowd, including government officials, potential investors, and members of the international press. The atmosphere was electric, with everyone eager to see if Chikumbutso could truly revolutionize the automotive industry. Chikumbutso, dressed in a sharp suit, presented his invention with the confidence of a seasoned showman, outlining its capabilities and the revolutionary impact it would have on the world. His charisma and passion were palpable, captivating the audience. The Saith FEV, adorned with sleek lines and an aerodynamic profile, captivated onlookers. Its design was not only visually stunning but also promised unparalleled efficiency and performance. It seemed to embody the promise of a future free from gas stations and charging cables, a symbol of hope and progress for a nation eager to embrace technological advancement. The crowd's excitement was palpable, as they envisioned a world transformed by this innovation. Chikumbutso claimed the vehicle was fully functional, powered solely by his revolutionary energy harvesting system. This groundbreaking technology, if proven effective, could change the way we think about energy and transportation forever. Section 7. The Walls Close In Following the unveiling of the Scythe FEV, a wave of doubt and scrutiny began to engulf Chikumbutso's claims. Investigative journalists, digging into the background of the invention, uncovered inconsistencies and red flags that cast doubt on the authenticity of the self-charging electric vehicle. The dream of a revolution seemed to be crumbling. A closer examination of the Scythe FEV revealed striking similarities to an existing electric vehicle model manufactured by a Chinese automaker. Reverse image searches and comparisons of design features confirmed that the Saith FEV was not a groundbreaking invention but rather a rebranded version of an already available electric car. Further scrutiny revealed that other inventions showcased by Chikumbutso, including a hypersonic energy generator, were also misrepresented. The generator, touted as a revolutionary device capable of producing vast amounts of clean energy, turned out to be a readily available portable power station sold on popular online marketplaces. Section 8 a dream deferred or dashed. The revelations about the true nature of Chikumbutso's invention sent shockwaves through his supporters and the wider scientific community. What began as a story of hope and innovation took a dark turn, morphing into a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the allure of easy answers to complex problems. In the wake of these revelations, Zimbabwean authorities launched an investigation into Chikumbutso's dealings, leading to the seizure of his lab and equipment. He faced accusations of fraud, deception, and misappropriation of funds. The once celebrated inventor found himself at the center of a scandal, his reputation tarnished, his legacy in ruins. The story of Maxwell Chikumbutso serves as a stark reminder of the importance of critical thinking, scientific rigor, and independent verification. While his claims initially captivated the imagination, they ultimately unraveled under scrutiny, exposing the fragility of narratives built on hype and the human capacity for self-deception. At this junction, we can see through the proxy of reality a guy from Africa for Africa who outsmarted not just Elon Musk, but Western cooperation. Financially, protect this man at all cost Africans, the real gold sets to crash the global market for your affordability and sustainability is, 
Here, a hero Africa will forever be proud of. Don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and family who dreams of freedom from cooperation to self. I remain your brother from Africa DIY Assistance. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching.